In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your ebook to Kindle KDP from Amazon so you can get a lot more exposure to your ebook. Now, I know this isn't the only platform you can upload your ebook to, and it's certainly not the only option you have for your ebooks. If you watch the video that we have in our playlist for the benefits and monetization ways of using ebooks, you're going to learn a lot of different ways that you can get your ebook out there and ways you can use it, different things you can do for generating leads as well as even selling. So this is just one strategy and one that I've been using over the past week and it's doing very well. So this is an ebook that I just created to use as a demo for our sales page and I'm going to get this uploaded to Amazon. So we're going to jump in here to my Amazon account. Now you can see here this month so far, which is actually over the past uh, since June 23rd. So in just one week so far, we have 233 downloads of the eBooks that I put on here. I've actually sold a couple of them. I think three now I'm actually setting them up for free promos. And what this means is that people who are actually subscribed to Kindle and paying a monthly fee, they can download these ebooks for free for a certain amount of time, usually anywhere from two days to five days. After that, the promo goes away. And then if they want that book, they have to purchase it just like everybody else does. Now, if they are not a member of Kindle, they do not get free access to the ebook. So they have to purchase it, which is where some of these sales are coming from. Now, a big benefit of doing this and offering these promos, as you can see here, it can really take off and get your books downloaded. On this day here, on the 28th, which was two days ago, I had 132 downloads, and this was when I uploaded two new eBooks. In fact, on this day and this day and this day, I believe I only had two eBooks uploaded total. So actually from the 26th to yesterday is when I got the majority of these downloads, and I'm sure this is going to continue because the more downloads you have, it is going to help improve the rankings of your eBooks on Amazon. So when people searching for them, it's more likely that they're going to see yours and hopefully buy it and download it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to kdp.amazon.com. You will have to sign up for a free account to use this service. Now, once you do, this is a very easy process to get your eBooks listed, and I'm going to walk you through and show you how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and upload this new eBook. So I'm going to come over here and click on create. And you can see here that Kindle gives you a lot of options for creating a Kindle eBook, which is what we're going to do. But you can also make your title available in print to ship worldwide. You can bind your book in a hardcover and have it shipped. And you can also collect your books together and build a single Amazon series page. And this is great because Amazon takes care of all of this for you directly when people place their orders for your books. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do the ebook. So we're going to click on create ebook. And now all we have to do is fill out these details. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling this out. I'm not going to add a subtitle here. I don't have a series or an edition number. I'm going to put an author name here. This can be a pen name. And normally I always use pen names. I'm not going to add any other contributors, a description here. I normally have chat GPT create my description here because what you can do is you can actually upload your, your full ebook to chat GPT and tell it to give you a Kindle description. So what I did here is I just put write a description I can use for selling this ebook on Kindle. And then I went down here to add this file and I added my PDF document for this. And we're going to see what it tells us. OK, and we're going to go ahead and use this. Now, if you want, you can make it longer. You can tell it, hey, give me a longer description. Uh, but this is what I'm going to use right now just for this example. We're going to jump back over and paste that in here. Printing rights, I own the rights. Primary audience, I don't have any explicit images. We're going to pick no. Reading age, you can add this or not. I'm not, I used to add this for all my books, but it is optional, so I'm not going to for this type of a book. My primary marketplace is going to be Amazon.com, but you can see if you're in a different area, you can change that. Then you want to choose your categories. You can also jump back over to ChatGPT and say something like this. 
using Kindle's platform, what are the best categories for this ebook? And these are not always 100% accurate what it gives you, but it does help you to better place them. Now, right now, we're actually working on some new tools we can add to ebook writer AI to help automate this entire process. So hopefully that will be done soon so you don't have to jump back and forth to chat GPT if you're wanting to use Kindle to upload and you need all this data. So here we can see some primary categories and this is good too because it gave us keywords because we're gonna need these as well. So uh, we can do cookbooks, food and wine, cooking by ingredient. So let's go ahead and it looks like cookbooks and food and wine. And here's even one that we could use too, if that's actually a category that's on Kindle. So let's go find out. We're gonna find cookbooks first. So we'll come up here and go to categories and cookbooks, food and wine. And then we can actually look over through some of these options. If nothing fits, we can click the subcategory. I like the quick and easy here. And we're just going to do general and then you can add up the three categories. So we're going to do another and we'll do cookbooks, food and wine. This one we're going to do comfort food because for a lot of people, grilled cheese is a comfort food. And then jumping back over, let's see if we actually have a cooking and food under humor and entertainment. So we'll add another category. Humor and entertainment, humor, and I don't see any in here for cooking. So that's what I mean. It's not always 100% accurate. It tries to give you what it knows based upon Kindle's categories but you may have to go through here and just try to find some of them yourself. We're just going to jump back and do another one for cookbooks, food and wine and try to find another one in this one, cooking by ingredient. And then we'll do, we could do cheese and dairy, but let's see what the subcategory. Okay. That's definitely not going to fit. So we'll just do cheese and dairy. That makes sense. And then click save categories. And then down here, you're going to add your keywords. And since ChatGPT gave us a bunch, I'm just going to copy these and put them in here. And now that we have that done, I'm going to make sure this is set on. I'm ready to release my book. Click on save and continue. It's going to take us to the next step where we can upload our manual. Now to do this, you want to come over to your campaigns and click on your ebook, go to downloads, and you want the EPUB version because this is what Amazon Kindle likes better than PDF. So you'll come over here and you're going to download this file and then you're also going to download the cover image for it if you used ebook writer ai to create your e-cover if you didn't you can just upload whatever image that you have or that you had made okay so i just selected my epub version it's uploading it now this does take a few minutes to do so it's going to process your file and it sometimes can take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes or even longer to fully process this so while it's doing that, let's move on to the next step, which is the Kindle ebook cover. And I'm going to show you how I do this because I had some issues with this when I first started because I would upload my own cover from an image I had and it didn't want to load right. It did not want to show it in the uh, results on Amazon. So what I found worked better is if you launch this cover creator, and if you do this, you do have to do this on your computer and not a mobile phone. It does not work on mobile phone. So click on launch cover creator. And let's go ahead and click continue. And then I want to get my image from my computer because I downloaded the e-cover image. I selected the image from my computer. We're going to give it a second to load it. And what it does is it adds it to all these different backgrounds. And what I want to do is click on this first one here. And then you can see where it also adds text to it. And I'm just going to delete this text. So we're going to click in this box and delete it all. Now you can leave this text on here and you can change this however you want to, but I just like to have the e-cover and that's it. So here it is. And then we're going to click on preview and then save and submit. And this way we know since we're using their own e-cover tool that it's going to be right and it's going to look right. 
So that's done. Now this next part, AI generated content, it says they like to collect information about the tools used. So did you use AI tools? Yes. For text and the entire work with minimal or no editing for me, because I did not edit this book at all. And then in here, you're just going to put the name of the tool that you used. And I'm going to type in ebook writer AI or images. I'm also going to select the same thing here. And we're just going to say it was used with Dolly. Translations, there are none, so I'm going to put no. And then down here, it says we are converting your file. This may take a few minutes. You can download your book after conversion completes. So it's not going to let us preview it yet because it's still working on processing it. And now we can see it's running a quality check. So while it's doing that down here, you can see you can also add an ISBN, which is optional. You do not have to have this. So I usually never add it. It's up to you if you want to. Down here, I'm going to select none of my images include alternative text. If they do, then um, you can select one of these other options. I just always pick this one and then save and continue. And finally, the last step is pricing it. So for me, I joined this KDP select cause when you do this, this is what allows you to enter it into the promo where you can offer so many free days on your book. So I'm going to go ahead and enroll this one. We're going to do all territories. And then down here under pricing, royalty, and distribution, I'm going to do 70%. And then when you do this, your ebook has to be priced anywhere from $2.99 to $9.99. So I always just do $2.99. And you can see here what your royalties are at 70%. You'd earn about $2.02 .02 on every sale. And then we're going to go to the bottom, click on publish. It says here it can take up to 72 hours. So typically what, what happened for me was the first time I uploaded an ebook, it did take two to three days for it to be approved. So far, I have not had any books rejected. But one thing I will say is that do not put Amazon links in your ebook. So you can use affiliate links in your ebooks, but you should not use and they do not want you to use Amazon affiliate links in your ebook. This is something I just recently found out. And so uh, I do actually have a couple books that does have a couple Amazon links in there. So I'm going to have to probably redo those just so it doesn't affect my account down the road. But ever since the first book that I uploaded and got it approved, all the other books I've added to my account have been approved normally within six to eight hours. They've been really fast with getting these approved and they'll send you an email once it is. And then once it's approved, you can come back into your account and then you can set it up for a promo. Let me show you how that works. So back here on your bookshelf page where it has all your books, you can see one of the last books I added here. So when your books show up here, you're going to have some options. This one here is in review, so I don't have any options over here. But since this one was approved over here, you can see where it says promote and advertise. So if we click that. Now, this book I just uploaded yesterday, I think it was maybe the day before. And what I'm going to do is run a promo on it. So down here, you can see where you can run a promotion or a price promotion. So what I want to do is click right here where it says free book promotion. And then create a free book promotion. And you can see here, Kindle free book deal promotions can run for up to five days. So we're going to go ahead and click the start date, which would be tomorrow. It won't let us select today. So we'll do tomorrow and we'll do it up until the third. And you can see right here, free promotion days used five out of five. So it, it only allows you to do promotions so often and so many days based upon how many books you have. So you'll just have to come in here and keep checking this. And then maybe day after day, you can come in and check it. And if you have more promotion days available, then you can set up the books for promotion that you recently uploaded. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one from the first to the third. So this one's going to run for three days at a free promotion and we'll click on save changes. So if I do a search for whispers in the dark, you can see here there are a lot of other books also titled whispers in the dark, which makes me wonder if there's other if some of these are also AI generated. So if we scroll down through here. Oh, here it is right here, actually. So it is listed here. And so you can see here it's free for Kindle Unlimited. So we can download this right now. And the more people that downloads this, 
the higher it's going to rank in the search results. And I'm finding that some of my eBooks that's been downloaded a lot are really ranking well. For example, so this is the first eBook that I uploaded to Kindle. And when I first uploaded this, it was not listed anywhere on like the first or second page. And now if I type in only two words, which is Bigfoot and manual, my book comes up as number three right here. And this is getting me maybe about 20 downloads a day currently. So it's doing very well. And as I continue to upload these books, which you can do, I believe it's three every day. So you can upload three eBooks every single day to Amazon, but just keep in mind that running that free promotion, you are limited. So they only give you so many days and so many eBooks at a time you can run those promotions. So as, as they expire, you should be able to do new promotions for new books. You'll just have to constantly come in and check that if you want to run those promos to start getting your books downloaded more and to get more exposure. But that's all there is to uploading these videos to Kindle and really getting your eBooks out there.